software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.reslibrary.com Hi everybody, for some to share with you. Uh, geothermal binary for organic vacuum cycle, multi fig distillation for dissemination about generation. Let's talk today about the main concept and how can we run our model. Uh, simply, uh, the main concept, as we can, uh, as we uh, already know before, that uh, uh, is, uh, there is uh, three types of uh, configuration in order to harvest uh, uh, geothermal energy. The first one is, is dry steam, it's the sim simplest one. And the second one is uh, flash steam power plants. Uh, we'll talk about this before. And the third one that we are going to look today is um, the binary power plants. And the energy is uh, transferred to the power uh, section via heat exchanger unit. There is an intermediate unit, as you can see here, heat exchanger unit. And uh, to transfer geothermal energy to uh, uh, organic rocket cycle. Um, what is I mean? Uh, what is a working flow that we are going to use? M uh, maybe toluene, pentane, ferrules. It depends on uh, how much you are going to dig in uh, geothermal energy. What is the which technology? Uh, the, I mean the highest temperature uh, to be extracted or to be uh, uh, extracted from geothermal energy. In order to power on the, uh, or transfer the energy via heat exchanger. Uh, as you can see, this 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 is our uh, uh, main concept today. Uh, as you can see here, this is this is um, MED perfect configuration, and we have here uh, heat exchanger uh, heat exchanger uh, boiler unit. Uh, this is uh, uh, any stream uh, for turbine unit attached with the generator. And we have here a uh, recuperator unit because uh, we are going to use um, a toluene. So, uh, therefore, there is no need for um, uh, uh, for uh, uh, to calculate the runness fraction or uh, some pro because it's a positive slope on TSD ground. Therefore, we have uh, to uh, we have st we are still in uh, superheat region. Therefore, we can utilize the recuperator unit. Uh, the extracted uh, the condensate from the first effect uh, would be bombed again to uh, via uh, recuperative in order to increase the organic cycle efficiency and go through the uh, heat exchanger unit in order to uh, the heat uh, uh, heat exchange the, uh, operation with the U7 energy. Uh, in our model, we need to, to discover the load on uh, MED design, geothermal uh, plan design, what is the, the cost analysis, uh, uh, and, and so on. Let's go and run our model and see what we can do about it. Okay, open your folder, uh, double clicking. Okay, this is our model here, as you can see here. Uh, it consists of a uh, geothermal well, uh, bomb unit with the attached to the geothermal wind, evaporator exchanger unit, turbine, uh, recuperator unit, MED, parallel feed. Of course, you can you, we can use a different composition of MED, MED, MED parallel feed, and uh, um, uh, pump unit for the tall wind or the organic fluid. And we have cost analysis and, and so on. And this is our cycle, as our plant, as you can see here. You see, man, the computer, uh, uh, heat exchanger, turbine. Uh, actually, th this is four units: heat body heat exchanger, turbine, recuperator bomb. This is organic liquid cycle. Okay, this, these are organic liquid cycle, and this is your similar with uh, the bomb unit. And we have here MED cost analysis block. Okay, first of all, we can. Um, we can assign some inputs. Suppose we have to assign uh, ambient temperature. If you send me with temperature, uh, suppose I'm going for 200, uh, 230 degrees Celsius, most commonly used. Uh, this is a little binary. Uh, be sure that a little binary should be lower than uh, your similar one. It be should, if you assign this 200, you have to 
to be lower uh, your uh, ter in the turbine uh, condition. Could the session temperature via uh, the first effect ME or the condensation temperature and productivity? Suppose I'm going for uh, 10,000. 10,000. Uh, we can emphasize with 10,000 meter cube per day as a productivity. And we have here. Okay. Uh, for the cycle, we can. Uh, we can adjust some inputs. There's a design input for steel pipe uh, in GeoSimmer or a flu pipe in GeoSimmer way. Uh, bomb efficiency 0.75, that's okay. Um, for polyheat exchanger, we have some in design tubes, diameter, shell diameter, and we have uh, effectiveness 0.8, 80% is quite good. Turbine unit, we, uh, we can assign generator and turbine efficiency. The capability unit of sure the effectiveness 80%. Bombing, yes. Bomb is almost at uh, 75%. Okay, for, for MED, okay, that's our target. Uh, sea water temperature 20, 25, 28. A prime down temperature, I will keep it at uh, 40 degrees Celsius. Sea water salinity. Uh, this is CO2 salinity and this is brine blue down salinity. As a designer, I need to uh, to assign it at uh, 60, 68, 65. For performance, this is a brine condenser, uh, uh, condenser effectiveness, feed bomb efficiency, brine efficiency, digital efficiency. I will keep these parameters. Okay, number of effects. Suppose I'm going for uh, from one to six effects. With some shield diameter, tubes diameter, I, I will keep this. Okay. Let's go on his run and discover uh, our results. Let's fix a point run. As you can see here. Okay, after hitting run, let's go and discover. For your thermal wheel, uh, we we have here uh, inlet inlet uh, water temperature. Inlet water temperature is it is the temperature uh, returning back to the geothermal. We can use this. Uh, we can use of course this temperature for process heat or or vacuum towers be, uh, or for heating homes or something like this. Anyway, but uh, it's around. Um, 110 depends on the efficiency or effectiveness of um, the uh, heat exchanger unit and salby and we have here uh, this will temperature as we assign this 230 degrees Celsius and this is mass flow rate mass flow rate through, through the geothermal is 114 uh, or 15 as you can see here okay we have here some uh, designs uh, well, this is total exchange destruction, exchange inlet to the well, uh, exchange outlet, exchange stream, uh, outlet in salvi. And we have here, uh, this is dips. For 230 meters, we, we almost we are going to dig up around one kilometer, one plus. And this is in feet, dips in feet. Okay, and as you can see here, this is. Uh, digging by hole diameter, casing diameter, geothermal um, uh, pressure, wood pressure, silica concentration in PBM, uh, silica concentration. Okay, this is bombing power. Uh, this is bombing power for this uh, around uh, 20 of kilowatts. Okay, for bullet exchanger, we have many, many parameters. This is inlet, inlet uh, uh, tolerant temperature, return it back from, to the evaporator. This stream is 80 degrees Celsius. This is, uh, we are talking about this point. Okay, we are talking about this one. This, this point is 80 degrees Celsius, and this one is one, 180, okay, 180. Outlet 180 as a steam, uh, inlet 80 degrees as a 
as a, uh, as a liquid and we have a but some of uh, such as um, water, uh, water uh, this in salby goes to the geothermal well um, outlet temperature uh, vapor in salby to the turbine unit uh, and to be vapor pressure geothermal um, field flow rate uh, number of tubes tube lens evaporator reversibility rates and so on for turbine units uh, this is our power for 10,000 um, meter cube per day we can produce uh, 13 net power 13 uh, megawatts of power okay 13 megawatts and this is outlet temperature sure we can control these uh, uh, parameters outlet temperature from the turbine unit it, it going to um, uh, the recuperator unit for recuperator this is uh, this is input input at the pressure to recuperator in and we have here uh, temperature out outlet is around 70 degrees Celsius this 70 degrees is, is going for to the power on uh, the first effect of MED let's go for for MED so we have in 70 degrees Celsius and the condensed as, at, uh, as we uh, Assigned 65 it will be calculated as 65.3. Okay, therefore, uh, this is our uh, uh, mass flow rate, steam flow rate, uh, and this is the uh, uh, feed uh, feed flow rate, distribute profile, a brine profile, effect by effect. As you can see, here, there's six effects distribute profile, brine profile, salinity profile. And uh, we have here uh, um, a pressure condensate in Salby. This is a um, brine profile. First effect, second, third, fourth. Third. Okay. And a vapor temperature profile. Okay. And performance ratio. This performance ratio 5.9, less than 6. Total area. And we have here this is. Um, in the condenser, in the condenser results, feed flow rate, cooling water flow rate, uh, total feed flow rate, uh, feed temperature, and uh, last uh, condenser uh, distillate temperature, condenser area, number of tubes, and we have also um, uh, XRG of um, uh, this is XRG of inlet steam, XRG of outlet steam. Excel of feed, excel of district, total irreversibility rate, bumps, this is bumps power for feed brine district, three bumps as you can see here, B bumps and uh, power and pressure. Okay, let's go. For, this is towing bump, we, we have to consume around uh, 91 kilowatts of power. And cost calculation, you can calculate uh, MED uh, operating and maintenance cost. US dollar per hour uh, for geothermal well, for heat evaporator, turbine, recuperator cost, hourly costs, condenser bumps. Um, this is the total, uh, total uh, operating meter cost. And this is a uh, unit product cost uh, for MED. And this plant uh, total annual costs. Now I have this total water price. We are going to sell. Our price was 4.6 related to geothermal energy. You can assign some inputs for uh, such as uh, uh, direct capital cost, um, interest rate, plant lifetime, um, uh, specifically about cost, chemical cost. You, you can search inputs. This is geothermal investment cost. You can, uh, this is a US dollar per kilowatt. Okay. And some performance such as uh, specific bulk consumption, uh, this gain ratio m, uh, m organic cycle uh, over uh, or MD over m organic cycle mass flow rate, total reversibility rate, efficiency and exergetic efficiency. Okay, and so you can run this uh, dynamic uh, if you for to set this. Let's set time limit to infinity save as save and we can suppose I'm going to okay 
let's hit run and see let's hit run let's okay let's go for turbine unit and make some changes I want to power suppose I'm going to uh, decrease the elite uh, steam temperature as you can see here decreasing the power the bullet or increasing up to 200 uh, let's increase a little better the condensation condensation increasing here also up to 200 increasing the oil temperature up to uh, suppose it's 300 so let's go for 300 okay increasing the buying inlet up to 200 okay you can uh, we can increase also the uh, mass flow rate or decrease let's decrease mass flow rate as you can see here decreasing mass flow rate will, will decrease um, the, the power output okay down to for example 5 megawatts is this 5 megawatts or 4 megawatts at 5 megawatts at 3500 3, uh, meter cube per day as a productivity as you, we can uh, what is such effect as you can see here uh, okay and this is um, this feed flow rate total feed flow rate condenser area uh, total productivity that's okay uh, f um, let's go for steam mass flow rate changing and um, this is silica silica concentration well depths this is well this uh, per kilometer area of boiler heat exchanger unit net power changing with some variation uh, outer temperature of the turbine unit uh, okay this total of the price fluctuating according to increasing and decreasing some of your inputs total reversibility rate specific uh, this is the total hourly cost and so on, you can extract many many parameters uh, in order to address uh, what is useful, what is not important. Okay. Okay. Finally, uh, don't forget to download geothermal cycles for thermal vapor compression for MED. We have uh, two impressive cycles. This is direct vapor generation from the flash tank to uh, the steam uh, ejector uh, this is direct contact direct vapor generation and we have it in direct vapor generation because the exhaust of uh, the turbine unit this is desalination and this is desalination and power uh, the exhaust steam is going is responsible for uh, to drive uh, on um, the steam ejector unit uh, finally uh, thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like share subscribe Thank you for thank you very much.